Hey everybody, Andrew Ains with Golf Academy here. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in today. Much appreciated you spending your time watching my little videos which I create for you. This one today is a um, swing instruction. I'm just going to talk to you about some of the common things which happen on a day-to-day -day basis here when I'm trying to help golfers out in my golf academy with the golf swings. And today I want to just focus a little bit on takeaway. After the grip and the posture, which are obviously very, very important things, let's just presume that you've got good grip and you've got good posture. And what I mean by good posture, you know, is what we would call today sort of athletic posture, where we've got this tilt forward, backside sticking out, nice sort of straight sort of spinal angle running down here, a little bit of flex in the knees. And this is what we would consider to be sort of athletic posture as we get into these positions. So let's presume that you're in good posture and we've got good neutral grip. What I often see happening with some of my pupils is the swing going fairly drastically wrong very early on in the backswing. So let me give you some examples of, of what I see. What I've got here is a, a, a very simple device which you can all make. I've got a, an alignment stick here and what I've done is I've just sellotaped it to the left hand side of the grip and you'll see the purpose of this in a minute and you can sort of take it on and off so i have this attached here permanently so i can let pupils use it so i get myself into setup position you can see the alignment sticks just touching my left side of my body and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take the club back and put it in a good position to start with so let me just take the club back to this sort of waist height position and you can see the alignment stick there is just running sort of parallel in front of me Here's a common one that I see quite a lot. Club very early on gets taken on the inside and look at where the club head is now in relationship to my body. You can see this club head is getting way behind me very early on. Now, just to give you a little visual on that, you can see that the alignment stick's pointing way, way to the right. Here would be considered a neutral position. This gives you an idea of how far on the inside I am. From here, I've got problems. I'm going to sort of set the wrist hinge, take it up to the top. Club gets in a rather awkward position here. And interestingly, what I see happening from here is the club changing direction, coming over the top. So that's one to look out for. And it's a really easy check, folks, just to set yourself up and take this club back to waist height and have a little look at where you are. The other one is... Uh, the complete opposite really but it's got a twist to it so what happens here again person may be in good setup the arms swing the club initially away from the body so I get a sort of a, a disconnection here between my hands and my arms but then what happens is that they kind of react to that by doing this so we end up with the arms traveling away but the club trying to get back inside so the arms are going this way and the club's going another way and that, and that puts us in a real mess because we're kind of fighting everything that's going on. So the purpose of this video is to keep it very, very simple. Get yourself good grip, good posture, set yourself up, put an alignment stick maybe on the ground and then take the club back to waist height. And you can see looking down the camera angle that you're looking at that this club is in a, a pretty neutral position. My arms are slightly out in front of my body, the club's parallel across my body, toe of the club pointing to the sky. From here, I would set wrist hinge and take the club up into this sort of nice position at the top, where the club will be pretty much on plane. Now, there are obviously lots of different ways to swing the golf club. We've got one plane swings, we've got um, stack and tilt, you know, there are lots of methods. The method I'm describing here is a fairly traditional sort of two-plane golf swing which works for lots of good players. So thanks for watching that. be interesting to find out if you've had any experience on takeaways, what your thoughts are on that. Please post comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with some more videos.